As English top flight football inches towards a restart following the COVID-19 pandemic, former England international John Barnes has sounded a note of caution. Barnes believed that football should resume only when normal people can return to their jobs. The former Liverpool captain is looking forward to his team ending the 30-year wait for the title but warns that complacency cannot be allowed to set in. This is an exclusive interview with the Beyond Sports editor Digvijay Singh there. been what close to two months since uh, the Premier League was suspended a lot of people since then have lost uh, jobs a lot of people have had to undergo pay cuts all that happening so considering all of that do you think now is it's the right time to restart the sport as all this uh, it's leading up to that in England we shouldn't just look at football and say it's important for us to get back to football it's important for all of us to get back to our lives and in many respects particularly if you're talking about football at the very highest level I'm not talking about lower division footballers who financially may be struggling. Footballers at the very highest level can probably not go back to football for the next year or two and still be financially be okay without losing their houses. Where you have normal people who have normal jobs who can't afford to do that. But the most important thing is first to be safe. So, relatively safe. If we're waiting for the virus to disappear, we're never going to go back to playing football for the next three, four, five, six years. So it's not a question of waiting for a guarantee that it is impossible for anybody to get it, be it a football fan, be a football player. If that's the case, we're never going to go back. But it's a question of then saying, well, when is it time for people to go back to work, knowing that there still will be a slight risk, but the risk will be less than it was last week, the week before. If it's going to take two, three months, we don't know. But we're going to have to get back to some sort of normality um, and it will become the new normal. Have you been tuning into the Bundesliga? which has restarted and what do you make of this entire atmospherics there? Uh, the, I find it rather bizarre that it's a contact sport. The players are out there playing playing football, but on the stands you're seeing the, the substitutes and the support staff all sort of maintaining social distancing. It may be great for optics, but it beats the purpose. If you're out there playing sport, then everyone gets to be treated equally. That's under normal circumstances. These are unprecedented times. So if you were waiting for everyone to be treated normally in terms of fans coming to the stadium to hug and to, to not do that, then we're going to have to wait for a much longer period. So we have to decide, if you want to go back, they're going to be, it's like going back to training. The players in England now are going back to training, but they can't go back to training in the way they trained before. And if you're going to say, well, if you can't train properly in terms of hugging each other and just doing normal practices, we're not going to, why go back? Well, then they won't go back for six months or whatever. So you have to go back and tailor it to these times. So of course, if that is what they have to do in terms of no money in the stadium and adhering to certain uh, protocols, and while people are then judging it from times in the past, you can't because these are unprecedented times. Lots of uncertainty, and these a lot of these I must I must add, and you will agree that these are all a lot of things which we are which we don't know. We are predicting could happen, but one thing we can predict, Mr. Barnes, is that when the English season resumes, Liverpool will be crowned Premier League champions. Uh, Will it be an albatross sort of off the neck? The fact that they finally there, they finally achieved what has taken so long. I mean, your team was the last one, the team you were a part of, to win the Premier League or the first division back then. Well, of course, first of all, I'm hoping for the season to start and for the season to finish because there's a lot of people agitating and pushing for the season to be cancelled and then just start next season, which is ridiculous because just like Germany, you can easily, whenever you decide to restart the season or wherever you decide to play football again, it'll take six weeks, two months to finish the season go straight into the next season. Now, of course, it won't be an albatross around the neck at all because what's important is, yes, unless a disaster happens, we're going to win the league. But then what happens for the next 30 years after that? So it's not a question of us winning the league, being so happy that it doesn't matter whether we win it again. The, 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 the marker of success is the consistency that you show in being successful all the time. So Jurgen Klopp will be pushing them to then say, okay, yes, we've won it, leave it, forget about it. Yes, we've done it. But what are we going to do next year and the year after and the year after? So... For me, hopefully, it's a start of us being competitive enough to challenge for the league title and the Champions League every year, as we did in the past. And that consistency we are seeing, because let's not forget the last season, they came very close as well. And it was just a great Man City, Man City team which sort of denied them. What do you think has been the change? The change in, in both teams to see Liverpool rampant. They did lose a game till, till February. And as we talk right now, 25 points clear. Well, don't forget, Liverpool only lost one game last year as well. So it's not as if they're doing better this year than they did last year. In fact, they were playing better football, in my opinion, last year than they have done this year. 
It's just that Manchester City were unstoppable. Whereas this year, Manchester City have, have dipped, I think mainly because of the injury they've had to key players in key positions, mainly at the back. But Liverpool have con continued to be consistent. So nothing has changed from last year to this year. And in fact, if you look at this year, we're now, we won the Champions League last year, finished second in the league with 97 points and lost one game. This year, we're not in the Champions League. We're top of the league, but we're not in the Champions League. And we, we, so we did better last year. So Jurgen Klopp has maximized the potential to be consistent. And Man City have been inconsistent this season. That's the difference.